Hi friends, it's Larissa. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a seamless Instagram carousel post for your brand new real estate listing. This is a phenomenal post to run for your listing and or run as an ad. This is going to make you that agent while you're sellers and of course find you that buyer. So if you're ready, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you know I got the vibes. Let go. All right, friends, here we are at the Canva dashboard. And very simply, we're going to start off in the create a design button here. Go ahead and click that. And we want a custom size. So this is going to be a five page carousel. So do the math 1080 times five, which is going to be 5,400. And then we're going to have the height still at 1080. All right. So create a design. So it's going to be one long post here. And at the end, we're going to have to crop it. I'm going to show you a special tool on how to actually do that. So stay tuned. So first things first, I'm going to change this color here and change my brand kit into this one. And we are just going to start off with this. Now, first things first, we have to create the guides and rulers. So right now I already have my rulers turned on. So shift R for me. So at this point, what we're going to do is go into elements. We're going to grab this square here and we are, need to make this exactly a 1080 by 1080 square. So this is going to represent the first page here. So try to get it as close as you can. Oh, oh right. Mm, right there. So then we're just going to drag our ruler here, move this here, drag this again, and then just continue to keep doing that. So now we have our five pages in place. Now I'm actually going to keep this square here and I'm going to position this right on the first page, just like that. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to put this on between kind of the second and third page here, but I'm going to extend this just a little bit like that. So it looks somewhat like that. Now, right now I'm kind of just building out the flow and base of this. So trust me on this. So it's going to look a little bit crazy, right? And then what we are going to do is I'm going to get a another square here so r for rectangle or square if you will and i'm going to make a connection here so this is where we're going to be putting the address next we are going to be putting a, another footer here so i'm just going to drag this here all right and then i'm going to go in and hit L on my keyboard for a line. I'm going to make this line that same beige color and I'm going to make this about the width of nine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right there and drag it across here. So it's evident that this is a continuous post and people will continue to scroll. So let me just bring this down kind of around there. Right. I'm actually going to bring this down a little bit, make this a little bit bigger. All right. Now at this point, we're going to add in a little bit more dimension. So we are going to go into our elements tab here and I'm going to search gradient and I'm looking for a specific one here. It's going to be this one here. So this is and what I'm doing is I'm going to actually change this color to that beige and I'm just going to put it there and I'm going to extend it so that it is between kind of the middle section here. All right. And I'm just going to move it probably a little bit down right there just to reduce that intensity of the gradient. And I want to make sure that this is touching just like that. And I'm going to make sure that this is right at the bottom here. And next up, I'm going to add in this honeycomb gold honeycomb abstract shape as this is part of this specific brand kit here. I'm going to make that this color. And I'm just going to extend this, rotate it. Oop. 
do like that. Just like somewhat like that. I'm gonna turn down this transparency around, I'd say probably, probably around there. Okay, so now we have pretty much the background basis of this design here. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is add in frames. So we're gonna scroll down here and we are just going to hit the grids here. So in this case, for this square here, I'm gonna add this one in and it's gonna do that. Don't be alarmed. I'm actually gonna turn off my grids for now because I keep moving them. And I'm going to just, actually I'm gonna push this that design to the back and I'm going to lock it down so I don't move it and I'm going to position this grid like that so that you actually see a bit of that beige color coming through on each side just like that so that's going to be our first photo next we are going to add in I want to do three page here so three photos here so I'm going to look at most likely let's see here um, let's do this one here. You guys see this one, this one here. And then now we have to position it right in that box there, just like that. And you know, make it look right here. And the spacing on this actually looks pretty good. So the grid spacing on this is about 10 which is what we want. We want a bit of the lines popping through. Oops, just like that. And the next one up here is we're going to do a quick circle frame here on this last page. So I should mention that the last page is going to be a call to action, which is going to be pretty much your information and how you want people to reach out to you. So this is going to be your headshot. Right, so this is the basis of the design here, and now we have to simply just add in our information. So, you know what, let's start off with photos because I think that's fun. And go ahead and use, obviously, the photos of your listing. Now, here is a caveat. So when it comes to making these promotional posts for your listing, I suggest not putting the kitchen master bedroom and ensuite. And this is something that I learned from my business partner, Mike Sherrard, who I'm partnered with here at eXp Realty and Agent Wolfpack. The reason is, is because we want people to wonder why isn't the kitchen there so that they are gonna go out of their way to either click on the link, click on the ad, or reach out to you and find that listing. Because in most cases, when it comes to a buyer, the kitchen, master bedroom, and ensuite is gonna be a pivotal place or pivotal element that is going to influence whether or not they want to even make an offer on that home or purchase that home in its entirety. So we wanna make sure we exclude those photos, but still insert really nice photos of that home but we want to create that curiosity peak, if you know what I mean. And that is something that we teach here at Agent Wolfpack with eXp Realty. So if you're interested in learning how to use social media strategies for lead generation, you can book a call with me down below using my link and we can talk more about that. So now onto the photos. I think I have them in a specific folder here. So I'm just gonna to go to my projects tab, folders, and here it is. So I got some photos here. Use one of the exterior. I'm gonna pop this one here and this living room photo here and that photo here. And it's really easy, like I said, when you have the grids and actual the frames in there, it makes it very easy to pop in photos and you don't have to go out of your way to crop them. Now I'm going to add in a headshot photo here. I have this in logos. I'm gonna use this one here if you can see. And if you want to learn how to make your profile picture look interesting like that, I do have a tutorial that I will link in the cards above and in the description box down below. So check it out. So now that we have the photos in here, we can kind of see this post coming to life, which is really exciting. Now let's go in and add some text here. All right. Actually, I'm going to add, since I'm in here, I'm just going to add EXP. So now be careful when you're dragging your logo in here, it, that's, it's gonna do that. So what I typically like to do is place it there and then I just shift the logo in with my keys, just like that, the keys on my keyboard. And that looks about right. And then I'm just going to duplicate that logo down here. And I'm also gonna bring this EXP logo on this other side here, 
just like that. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, now we are gonna go ahead and add in some text. So I'm gonna be using this extra, Open Sans Extra Bold font here. I'm gonna make it bold and I'm gonna make it white. Yes. And I am just going to just list it. Yay. And you know what? I'm gonna lock down this gradient down here so I don't move it. And I'm gonna bring this here and I'm going to flip it 90 degrees so it's like that. And I'm just going to increase the size of this. So if it's like that, make sure it's in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this text here, oops. So click on your text box, duplicate, and I'm going to go up to effects and I'm going to first change the color to this beige color and go to effects, put on that neon and leave it like that. And I'm just going to put this over top just like that. And I forgot to make this italicize. So italicize this and I'm going to italicize that like that. Actually, what you, can, what you can do is select this. So use your shift key to select both of them. I'm going to position them and center them perfectly. And then I'm going to group them. So they're one unit and you know, let's make it bigger. Let's make it take up most of the page here. Yeah, I like that. that looks nice. Okay, so that's pretty much your, if I turn my grids on, this is going to be your first page. So turn that off. Now let's go ahead and work on some of these other texts here. So we're gonna put a heading here, a heading here, and a heading here. All right, so let's start with the second page here. So we're gonna go into, let's see here, click on here, T for text box. And what I'm gonna do is change this to Open Sans. I'm going to make this actually this beige color here. Now let's increase the size around there and I'm going to go into effects and I'm going to pick the background and I'm going to make this green, that background color. So if I situate it right in the center here, it looks like the, the bar is just kind of cut off and then it continues on, which I like the look of that. So we are going to, let's see here. Now let's also italicize this and we're gonna do whatever catchphrase you have, but I'm just gonna put welcome home. Okay, does that look good? And then next up, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this over. You know what, I think I used, let's see here, open sans light. I think I like that one better. Yes, open sans light here. And then I'm just going to click and drag so it's on this fourth page here. Make sure it's centered. And I'm going to also duplicate that on this side for a heading over here. And then, you know what, let's go ahead and just change that while we're here. This is where we're gonna put the features, some features of the home, bullet point style, and then on the last page, which is, which is gonna be your CTA, so book a showing. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger, so it is very clear that you should book a showing because this home is gorgeous, okay? There we go. That looks great. You know, let's actually make these two bigger, just like that. All right, now we can insert the address here, a description here, and some bullet points here. So this is pretty self-explanatory and straightforward. So I'm just going to fast forward this part right here. All right, so now that we have some information about this listing here, now we're gonna work on the last page, which is your call to action page, which might very well be the most important page, 
because, well, people need to know how to reach out to you. So I'm going to zoom in on this bad boy here. Hopefully you can see it. I know I'm in the way here, but I can't move myself. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so go ahead and just, if you have a, you know, a slogan or a saying, go ahead and use that. So I'm just speeding up this portion of the video because I am basically just rambling on. All you need to do for this last page is a CTA call to action. So go ahead and add in your slogan, your motto, your name, of course, which real estate brokerage you are partnered with. And at the bottom there, we're adding in our contact information. So of course, add in your cell number, your email address, and your website. What we can do at this point is simply download this design so go up to the share button up here click on that we're going to download this as a png and we have one page so just go ahead and download this and then i'm going to show you what to do next all right so at this point we want to crop this long piece of photo if you will into five different segments so here we are at pinetools.com and we want to search for image split and this is a free tool and it is awesome so we want the split image right here which is that one there click on that one and we want to split this image horizontally and let's first grab our photo here i'm going to go into my downloads let me grab that let me show you what it looks like Ta -da! it looks so good okay now we're gonna crop this up okay just hit open there it is now we want to crop this into five pages because that's what we did the dimensions as at this point we just want to split image so it is down here if you can see click that bad boy and then i'm just going to download this as a zip file and i'll show you exactly how to upload this to Instagram. All right, now that you have the images on your phone, there should be a total of five pages. So let's take a quick scroll here. And as you can see, it's a beautiful seamless post. So now let me show you how to post this to Instagram. So go ahead and open up your Instagram app and just go up to the top plus button and go to post. Now we have to select this in the correct order. So start off with the just listed page and you want to turn on the multiple tab button so you can post multiple photos at the same time. And then we want to make sure we do this in order. So it's that first page, second page, third page, fourth page, fifth page. And if we go next, we can see that it is indeed in order, but you want to make sure, make sure. And at this point, all you have to do is just add in your captions and you're ready to post it to Instagram and wow your sellers and find that buyer and become that agent y'all now that you know how to create this beautiful just listed seamless carousel post i suggest you check out this video right over here where i show you how to create custom stickers for your instagram stories to further promote your listing and of course showcase your personal brand so if you ready three two one